Next news is pretty quick and bizarre. Micro Center, not AMD, is announcing and actually controlling the launch for the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X 3D. So Micro Center, a retailer, is launching a CPU that is on AM4 and it's an X3D chip. Now, this is going to be a $230 CPU. We originally saw the rumors for this CPU a couple weeks ago and we actually ran it in hardware news, but we were skeptical of it because there weren't a ton of leaks. And normally leaks stem from retailers or from board partners. And because this particular launch is so controlled, it makes sense that the leaks were not as numerous. We're gonna go over the specs and the news for this and why they've made these decisions. So that we'll be covering supply. We got to speak with both AMD and Micro Center about this launch. And the CPU will be available starting July 7th. We will have a review live one day before that. Uh, and the store's opening will be the launch timing for the CPUs and up doing a special launch time. It's gonna be 230 bucks. It will have 96 megabytes combined of L3 cache, and that totals 99 megabytes of L2 plus L3, just like the 5600X, except with a vCache die on it. A micro center informed Gamers Nexus that AMD is only making one run of these. It's not actively producing them, but rather they are defects that were assigned to become something else. So we'll cover that too. Let's get started. Before that, this video is brought to you by Deepcool and the new Zero Dark series of AK620 and AK400 CPU coolers. We previously reviewed the AK620 and AK400 and found them to be among a new crop of extremely competitive coolers for the price. The new Zero Dark and Zero Dark Plus variations move out to a blackout color design with blackout FDB fans. The heat sinks otherwise have the same characteristics as those that we tested previously and found to be well performing, just with a fresh new look. Learn more at the link in the description below. So this is pretty peculiar because the launch is limited not just to a country or a region, but to a specific store. And for those of you who don't live in the US, Micro Center, despite all the sort of YouTube dominance that it has, is really not that common still. It's got a good amount of locations, but the closest one to us, and we're kind of in a tech hub, is five hours away, just to give you an idea. So this is extremely limited in launch. It's not even really just the US. It's like specific areas within driving range of a store. So we learned from the two companies that AMD has been accumulating defective silicon for 5800X 3D parts for some time now, and it hasn't been able to do anything with them. The yield was high enough that it couldn't accumulate enough supply for a global launch of a new product, but it was able to source enough for a one-off. Now, at face value, what this means effectively is that their options were throw away the silicon for an aging platform that doesn't have that much marketing power behind it anymore, and we can't sell globally uh, or sell it in a limited capacity. I mean, selling it in a limited capacity is at least better than just tossing it, which is normally what happens if they can't convert it into some other downbind product. Companies typically try to do that, but you're always left with scraps at the end. So uh, we'll take the not e-waste option at least over the e-waste option. Now, to be really clear, that means that not everyone will have a fair chance to get a 5600X 3D CPU, and that sucks. We're still going to review it, though, and in theory, the 5800X 3D should be uh, your next best alternative. AM4 is old now, and it's nearly abandoned, but AMD is going back for this one run. BIOSes that support the 5800X 3D will also support the 5600X 3D from what AMD told Gamers Nexus. Simultaneously, though, there should be BIOS updates available for boards to get more specific or tuned support for it. This will almost certainly be the last chip for AM4 at this point, and it comes as a bit of a surprise given the age of the platform. So today we just have the news for you, the specs then, as simply as possible. Uh, it's an R5-5600X, except it has a vertically stacked piece of silicon on top of the CCD, and that contains the additional L3 cache, also known as a V-cache die. So uh, that means it is the same as a 5600X in core count and thread count. It's got differences in frequency. This is going to be a six core, 12 thread part. It will have a combined 96 megabytes of L3 cache. The L2 and the L1 are identical with the 5600X. The CPU will run at 4.4 gigahertz boost, 
and 3.3 gigahertz bass, and that's down from 4.6 gigahertz boost on the 5600X non-3D and 3.7 gigahertz bass on the same. That bass frequency drop is actually pretty significant. It's maybe 400 megahertz. However, overall, we've seen that these X3D CPUs in gaming can outperform the losses accumulated in frequency thanks to the additional cache. It's just they do a little bit worse in production. And of course, that depends on the production workload, but the ones that are more core dependent and don't care about cash will benefit from the frequency on those cores when they're all leveraged. So on to the supply questions. AMD and Micro Center both noted that supply is extremely limited because of the nature of being uh, basically a salvage chip. And this means that the CPUs were not being, at least as we've been told, intentionally manufactured because of the salvage nature of them. So the launch is being entirely handled by Micro Center. That's weird. Normally AMD would handle, normally any company, all of them, would handle the launch itself and the PR, the press releases, the public relations, media outreach. All of it has been given to Micro Center. So different for sure. And uh, we actually had to offer Micro Center some guidance on how to communicate with the press and what to tell the press because it is so inexperienced in this realm. It's not really their fault. They don't make products and launch them other than kind of power spec pre-builds, but that's about it. The product itself, though, is an AMD product, so it has AMD's warranty, uh, it has AMD support channels, everything is the same as always. It's just being sort of handled by Micro Center at the launch. Now, Micro Center is well known, unfortunately, I guess, for those of us who don't live near one, for having a lot of in-store exclusive deals. At the time we contacted Micro Center, it wasn't 100% confirmed as to whether this X3D CB would be in-store only, but the company was pretty sure of it. They, Technically, they said 99% sure. So sounds like it's going to be in-store only. Micro Center also noted to us that it will be offering uh, discount bundles with the CPU. So if you're not familiar, uh, one of the ways Micro Center gets people physically into the stores to buy all the other accessories like USB keys, uh, where they make their margin, is by offering a motherboard with a CPU, RAM with a CPU, something like that, and giving a significant discount compared to what you might find online in the hopes that you'll buy other stuff while in the checkout aisle. Now, speaking with off-record sources that we have at AMD, that means none of this is an official AMD statement. It's just the behind the scenes of what happened. We learned that AMD knew it had only enough inventory for one retailer in basically one country. And so it decided to support the most PC DIY enthusiast focused retailer, given the options, say Amazon as the alternative where you send it into oblivion and see where they distribute it. We asked Micro Center for rough estimates for how long they think the CPU will last. The company was still working on that at the time we wrote and filmed this. Uh, it sounds like they don't think it'll last long though. Probably will be gone pretty quickly. The answer though that we got from them was more or less, it depends on how well the launch goes. So i.e. how well the CPU performs in reviews. And uh, we'll have one to review. So. We're gonna post review one day ahead of launch. That's when we're allowed to post it. It's actually typically when we get to post them. It's gonna go up at 9 a.m. Eastern time on July 6th for the review. So you'll wanna check back here at that date and time to catch our review because we're gonna run it through the standard reviews process, see how it does. We'll make sure our 5800X3D numbers are updated. And uh, of course, the next closest alternatives might be some of the cheaper Intel CPUs. So it'll be a really interesting roundup at 230 bucks. It slots in at one of the uh, less populated categories of CPU over the last few years, as both companies have kind of pushed more into that $300 plus territory. What we want to know from you in the comments, genuinely, I want to know this, we're going to read it, is what you think of this. Because it, I was talking with some people, again, off record at AMD, and I said, you know, people outside the U.S. are going to be pissed because they're not going to be able to get one. And if it truly is just sort of the scraps of 5800X3D that have been able to be salvaged into a, a workable competitive part, then cool that they're able to salvage them. People will be upset because it's not fair, so to speak. But, you know, what do you do? And so that's where we're interested in what you all think. Um, and again, the exclusivity is particularly different because it's not just non-US countries that lack availability here, which I think... Uh, from what we've heard of our audience in Europe, that is not necessarily an uncommon thing to get sort of overlooked for other markets. But it's also just people in the US will have limited availability because micro centers aren't everywhere. So um, anyway, let us know what you think in the comments. Now, my personal opinion is that I would way rather this become a product 
that is competitive and helps someone, hopefully not just scalpers, rather than get thrown in a landfill because AMD can't figure out what to do with them and doesn't want to just sit on inventory that uh, is defective for the 58X 3Ds. So uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. As always, we'll have a review. We'll have all the benchmarks in there as usual. And subscribe for more. Check back for the review. Support us at store.gamersnexus.net or on patreon.com slash gamersnexus if you like our style of reporting. And we will see you all next time.